Hey guys, this is Stu here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. I just tried recording. 15 minutes. You know, had to refight a boss to get to even where I could start recording again. Re you know, refight that incinerator drone. Collected a few things. I found an energy tank, a couple missiles, and this one, and this one required a double bomb jump. I'm not going to re-record that, because that would be the third time I had to do it, and I really just got over my issues with my friends, so I'm gonna just show you where I got everything. The first thing we did is we reef off, obviously we got the energy tank behind the incinerator drone. That was the energy tank we picked up. We went over here after and did the, uh, or no, we got the bombs and a missile behind the, or, no, just the bombs, that's right. The bombs, the, the, the missile and the energy that was behind there, 20, 40 energy. We got the an energy tank here in the furnace after solving that puzzle there that I failed the first time. I had to redo it a second time. Much, almost better, almost. Uh, we headed back over this way into the main plaza, and first we went in here. Whoops! And over here on the left side, there's a little tiny room where you can get into, and it has a uh, missile in it. You can head over here into the ruined nursery and you can find a bomb puzzle up here in the in the wall it's on the right side of where I'm facing right now the side we're f directly facing towards opposite of the sa station and you can get five missiles there you can head further in into where I am in the vault and you get the five missiles that I just picked up on screen so all in all we picked up 15 missiles I believe maybe 20 and we got the 100 energy. In this episode, I th can't think of anywhere else that has any more, unless it's in, like, say, the Talon Overworld. Or, you know, that just shows our ruins. Talon Overworld, okay. Let's see. There isn't much of the Talon Overworld we've explored, so I guess for now we're done with that room. Let's head this way. Uh, or not. I got turned down a little. Turn around a little, okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry about not doing that, but I am back. I had some good jokes in that one too. They were very bad. They were Sugar Conroy bad, but I I just I can't record it, and there's no way I could really deliver the jokes just as good as I did last time. So you'll have to forgive me. Um, because that didn't make it though, I do have to redo some things. And that is some shoutouts. I have some friends who've really helped me after this. They all helped me feel better. They all helped me say, yeah, they were the ones in the wrong. You're the one that's in the right. It's not your loss, it's theirs. I can't say who it is exactly for their sake, and none of them will watch the video, but if you, you know who you are, and I deeply, deeply appreciate it. Um, I also want to welcome back my friend Maz, as I call him, but because I have no flipping idea how to pronounce your name, dude. Sorry, but they're all th those ones involving that. Just they're too hard. Sorry, <laughs> but um, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to the, in the series for you because you like Metroid so much. As you said I appreciate your help with me helping. We need the friends thing too. You, he's one of the ones that helped. I will name him. I, cause I know he'll watch it. So, um, probably a good idea too. I talked about my friend Brian of Undertux. He's got a little special something something coming up in a while this summer. I am special and have been pre-informed of this because I may or may not be taking slight part in this. Depends on, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, what goes on with that, and it's his decision to make, not mine, so we will see. I would love to do it, though, because he's doing some games I'm very, very in love with. Um, I do gotta say this, too, you know, I've been playing some games like Minecraft lately. Come on, come on, Samus, 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 Samus! Thank you. Um, they, it's been, Minecraft has been screwing with me. Literally. 
Um, I had to hold up in a dirt hole for a couple nights because... Stupid blood grass. Blow your face off. But, uh... It kept screwing me. I made a nether portal. Spawned me up on top of a, uh... Hanging thing of nether rack with some glowstone and that's it. Um... I got lost down in a mine shaft, and I ended up having to. Hold on, I'm trying to scan all these because I have to. Okay, there's one. Right. That's right. Okay, I can't. I can get them all in. Um. Let's see. What else did the game do to me? <coughs> oh, I went down to get some more obsidian for a second mine or a second. Another portal that I was going to make just so I could make it, you know, down in there and actually use the nether for strongholds to grind blazemen so I could get to the end and all that. And I ended up dying and losing all my diamond, all my, or most of my iron, and I had like 50 iron ore, and I ran across all this. I lost a lot of coal. I basically lost everything to the, because of this water that was pushing me into lava. But uh, that's that story. I also got a 3DS card, my first one. I bought it to uh, buy some things on the 3DS. I've been wanting for a little while, actually, since the game pretty much came out with its eShop. I got things like Link's Awakening DX, which is the last Zelda game I have yet to play. I intend to play that this summer. I also got Metroid 2 The Return of Samus, Sonic Triple Trouble, because if my name didn't imply I'm a huge Sonic fan. Um, I also have now gotten, I, or no, I also got a uh, Mega Man game that was for the Game Boy. That is flipping hard. That puts a new definition on the word NES hard. Uh, almost to the boss chamber. Oh, Bob, second I spoil it. Maybe I'll cut that out. I'll see. Um, I'm just going to rant here for a moment, because once we get in here, there's going to be something. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see, but... Um, oh, I also had the misfortune of finding out my 3DS's R button didn't work, and lo and behold, I applied old Nintendo thought processes, or whatever... Googling online and found that someone claimed that if you blew on it with your mouth on the button, it would work, and lo and behold, it works. It even fixed my two year broken DS light, which now works like a charm again, except for the broken hinge on it, thanks to my sister. Excuse me. Well, that's how that's been going, and I've also been playing Pokemon Heart Gold again. My Pokemon have freaking scary attack stats, and whoa! Plant monster. Photosynthesis. 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 Yeah, we get to fight a plant called Flagra. This is the f game's first real boss. You thought I wasn't capable of a boss? You're wrong. Hey, Flagra, this mutant plant is a source of toxic water in the ruins. The great poison is from this thing? Flagra's growth cycle has been radically accelerated. As a result, it requires near constant exposure to solar energy to remain alive or remain active. Ah, close enough. This exposure has made Flagra's outer shell thick and durable. Its root system is unprotected and vulnerable. However, how exploits flaw when possible. Concentrate weapons fire. Concentrated weapons fire can daze it for short periods of time. So basically, charge your charge your beam, fire, and keep doing that until it uh, it does that. Charge it one last time. Shoot the back of this. Flagger obviously needs constant solar energy. Captain Planet. Then all you gotta do is roll in the morph ball mode. Quickly run down here, bomb it, and it catches on fire and harms Flagger. Takes out one fourth of its HP, and we have to do this four times. But each time it gets consequently harder because of this. Yeah, more solar energy. So, now 
Alright, just gotta do it again. Restun him. Once he's stunned, quickly make your way over here. Shoot those. Charge up on your way around. Dash. Shoot that up. And, yeah, well, you actually bounce. Interesting. I'll just take care of this real quick. It's not a hard fight whatsoever. The bosses in this game really don't get all that hard for a while. Uh, next technical boss, which is, again, actually more or less one of those mini boss type things. You know, like, uh... Oh, I don't know. The incinerator, well not the incinerator, that's actually not exactly what I'm thinking of at all. Uh, more like the... That bug thing we fought, it becomes a regular enemy much later in the game. So it's not really a boss, but it is more like a glorified enemy. But irregardless, you know, it's still a boss right now. Has enough HP. By the time it's a normal enemy, the game will have a much better way of dealing with it. Oh, I need to go get me some drink real quick after this episode, guys. It's hot and I'm thirsty, even if I have a fan going on me. Yes, hurry up, Flagra. I want to kill you. F off. Wow, he actually listened to what I said. Dare to bring light into my lair? You must die! I'm thinking all kinds of things for this. I'm only saying about half of them, though. I don't want to ruin them. I'll use all my good jokes up on you guys. Right? Right, yeah. You know, my bad jokes suck. Don't follow me, don't follow me, don't follow me! Oh, thank god I almost had to go all the way around. I'm pretty sure his arms block you off, and... DIE! Can't say take that, yeah. But... Mm. Oh, it's dying in such pain, whoa. Never quite understood why it does this when you kill it. Finally! We've rid the world of that... great poison. We don't have to worry about harming, getting harmed in the water anymore. Now it's just a minor inconvenience. What's that? Huh. Varia suit. Well, guys, you know what time it is? I think it's turbo time. Yes. Finally, we're getting the la second to last of our gear that we lost. And like I said, we won't be getting the last of that gear for a while. I'll be honest with you guys, I actually quite like the look of the uh, power suit over the Varia suit. I mean, it, the Varia suit looks cool in its own, but it's just so much bigger. It's sort of like how, I don't know, Iron Man in his original suit looks so huge, but when he makes the, say, the Mark III or the Mark II even in the movies, it looks so streamlined, it's just so much cooler looking, to be honest. You would think the Varia suit would be skinnier or something, like, the Varia suit, or the Power suit would be the big, giant, bulky one, and then the Varia suit would be smaller. Heck, even in the original Metroid, or Metroid game, that's how it looked, but, uh, now that we've beaten Flagra, and we've basically gotten everything back, I think if I'll call it a or I'll call it a. See if I can make that bar go all the way up. Ah. Well, anyway, whatever. I think I'll call it a part part for here, and I will see you guys next time. Now that we have finished up the main story for the Chozo Ruins, I will see you guys next time.